For our breaking news, a Cincinnati police officer pulled from a cruiser taken to the hospital after a crash. Yes, yeah, seriously injured. WCPO 9 News reporter Allie Kramer is saying in Evanston with the new development at the scene right now. Allie. Yeah, and uh, guys, I want to tell you that Dana Avenue just reopened about 15 minutes ago, and that's where this crash happened. You know, all of la the lanes close to Montgomery, really between Montgomery and the 71 interchange were shut down, but uh, back open now. I want to tell you that this was closed right around 1.30 this morning when officers say that that officer called for help, and when firefighters got to the scene, they found that officer trapped in the cruiser that had crashed just off the side of the road. I want you to be able to see this video because it kind of paints a, a better picture of exactly what was going on and the cars involved. It happened again near the intersection of Dana and Trimble Avenue, uh, right in front of Robin Wood Flowers. If you're familiar with the Evanston area, officials say it took more than two dozen firefighters to get the officers stabilized and out of the car before getting them into an ambulance and then down to UC Hospital Medical Center. We're told the officer is stable, but there haven't been any updates even just before those officers left the scene on his or her condition. Police are looking for two people that were in a white Maxima that appears to be involved in this crash as well. That car had heavy front end damage and was still in the middle of the road when first responders arrived. But witnesses say they did see two young men run from the car after the crash. Lieutenant Timothy Lantern with the Cincinnati Police Department tells us that the traffic investigators, they were kind of piecing together what, what happened in this crash. They're also looking to see if there might be dash cam video from the officer's car. I don't know if that was activated. Uh, the officer was on routine patrol, so normally it wouldn't be. Now, if that officer was on some sort of run, which I do not believe they were, then we wouldn't have anything. Uh, again, we are anxiously awaiting an update on that officer's condition. We're told that they'll be uh, updating us later this morning. So as soon as we get that, you'll be able to find it right here on Good Morning Tri-State and on WCPO.com. For now, reporting live, Allie Kramer, WCPO 9 News.